Hello and welcome back. And that is right. We can now expand raid pools, the ZFS raid pools, the Z1s and the Z2s in QUTS 5.1. And if you've come to this video to learn and see exactly how to expand your raid pool, fast forward about one, two, maybe even three minutes, depending on how much I jibber jabber, but there should be a marker on the time bar below to get you straight to it. But for the rest of you, why is this a big deal? Well, when it, I first clocked this, it was halfway through QUTS um, Hero 5.1's announcement page, and it was kind of here in the middle. I think you know, it could stand to be a lot noisier about this. They've got details on exactly how to expand, the details on what you can expand to and from, and that includes scaling up your raid group. And although we already did an overview of QTS 5.1, the EXT4 version, the expansion of um, raid Z pools in ZFS uh, configurations is surprisingly newer and surprisingly less common than a lot of people might think. If you head over to the other, and let's face it, the original massive ZFS platform, TrueNAS or FreeB uh, or FreeNAS or all the different names that came before it, um, right on that platform, depending on where you read, RAID expansions of those RAID Z um, storage areas um, isn't quite as far ahead as a lot would like. And again, although it was announced quite a decent amount of time ago, we've not seen it fully integrated yet. And again, they are getting closer to it. The nearest we've seen is they are targeting towards Q3 of this year. And again, the feature has been broken down, how they're going to approach it in those VDEVs. And again, depending on where you read, it is certainly on the road to being completed, but it's not quite there and fully um, established yet. They are on the home stretch, but there are still users wondering where it is, which brings us over to the QNAP side of things. Because on the QNAP here, what we've got is a couple of RAID groups. As you can see, I've got this, um, this is an 8-bay device, the TVS 872X, and it's got eight drives inside. Now, I've got two uh, storage pools here. We've got one storage pool that's made up of three 14 TB drives and another one that's made up of three 8 TB drives. And if you want to expand your pool, in the past, if you wanted to expand a ZFS pool, what you needed to do was you had your existing RAID Z1 or RAID Z2 uh, configuration here, which is equivalent to a RAID 5 or a RAID 6 with a dit one or two disks of parity. Um, and if you wanted to expand, in the previous um, ZFS approach, you needed to create a separate RAID group. So you'd need at least two disks, and then you had to kind of bundle them together. And one of the issues there, of course, alongside a lot of stuff for people running uh, multiple kind of pools, was you couldn't just add one drive. You had to add two drives, and you were always going to lose drives to parity. So even if you got two drives, you weren't getting two drives of capacity there. Now, what this does here is use a... I would argue much more uh, EXT uh, QTS 5 approach to these things because they've recalculated things slightly there. And if we go over to the manage icon here, we'll manage this pool. From this managed pool, it gives us information. I should highlight I'm accessing this NAS remotely. I'm not accessing a local NAS here. So there's going to be a slight delay in some of the inputs you see there on screen. And from the storage pool, you can see those three disks there. We go to our manage. We, oh, sorry, we go to action, I should say. From there, go to expand pool. From expand pool, we can go ahead and create a new disk. Select our RAID group. We can add a disk to that existing RAID group. It will show the listed drives. As you can see, there is another blank drive in there. It's an 8TB, which is not suitable for expanding this because we have to you know, have those similar size drives that we've got in our existing pool. Select that drive there. Again, if we had more drives, we could scale up and change the RAID if we choose. Then go ahead, select Next. When we click Expand, you will see that it will warn you that the drive is going to be erased. Don't worry, that's not the full RAID pool. That is just the single disk that's going to be wiped as it's expanded into this. That's fairly standard in all RAID expansions. Click OK, and there you go. The system will now start creating this extra drive into that existing RAID pool there. Again, the, slight, the amount of time this will take will depend on, the obviously, the power of your system and the complexity of your existing RAID group, but it really is as straightforward as that. 
In my case, this raid expansion has not taken a great deal of time at all. As you can see, that it's finished expanding that existing pool there, but it still needs the background resynchronization to take place there. So at least it's been initialized, but you'll see that slowly over time. It's not going to be as quick as a standard raid configuration or even a resilvering that you would find in ZFS, but at the very least, at least this is something we can action there. Alternatively, if you want to expand in a slightly easier way, you can go ahead here to the three dots on the disk and VJ bod uh, visible screen here, then head over to manage free disks. And you can go ahead and select the expand storage pool here. And from there, it will go through exactly the same process we did. There's two inlets there. Now, my only criticism really of this, based on the information we're seeing here, while we're waiting for this uh, to be finished, and again, if anything afterwards is worth noting, I will add it to the end of this video. But what I will say is that I couldn't find too much information online or a white paper as to how QNAP have integrated this feature into their system. Now, they may be integrating that existing Raiders expansion feature we talked about earlier on, um, kind of a fork of that. And if we go into a Reddit post here from just a few months ago, two months ago, and again, it was QNAP themselves, one of their employees stating uh, this online, there was talk about how exactly it's been implemented and uh, QNAP themselves or their staff member there was integrating that the, um, they have been making modifications to their own implementation of ZFS within their QNAP platform there. So again, I think there's a decent chance that what they've done is just kind of utilize this existing methodology to integrate that RAID expanding feature within ZFS. And there is talk there about how uh, the blocks on the old areas of the RAID storage and towards the new expanded storage can be matched there in between. So again, if there is a white paper on this or QNAP are watching this and they've got further information on this, it would be great to hear from them and they can link below. But other than that, it's nice to see that we don't need to use multiple disks to expand our existing QUTS RAID there and enjoy the free and ease um, expandable option in the ZFS QNAP um, software that we've always been able to enjoy in the EXT4 versions there. And indeed, across most other NAS brands that are using either EXT4 or BTRFS, it's nice to see turnkey NAS solutions like this integrating an expandable option into ZFS storage there. But, have you enjoyed this video? Let me know your questions below. Or, if you do know more about how QNAP have integrated this feature or the white paper that I could not find, please link below. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic week.